We're back. It's triple scoop. We're talking about television. It's gonna be wild. We have. Oh yeah. Guys, you want you want to introduce yourselves real quick? I'm Billy Griffith. I'm Kara Collins. And this is the triple scoop. Uh, so this segment, like I said, is television. We're gonna talk about American Vandal. Season one was last year. Oh yeah. Season two is this year. Billy, give me a quick recap on what happened in season one, just so we can get people up to speed. All right, so in season one, um, there was a whole situation where uh, a kid uh, vandalized teachers' cars, spray painting penises on the cars. About like 24 cars were vandalized, um, and they believed it was one kid, and two documenters went out um, and tried to figure out like what the problem was and see if it was actually him who sprayed the penises on the car. So it's kind of like, uh, a funny, like comedic situation that actually happens in like a real life situation, um, which yeah, is attracted my it's, attention. It's like the way the show is presented is they want you to believe that what's happening is real. Like oh, yeah. you're thinking that this is real, like they presented it's real, but then you look into it and like the actor, the guy who plays Dylan, is like a comedic actor. Like yeah. it's yeah. all fake, but the way they present it is like it's a super serious documentary that these two high school kids are putting yeah. together. So that's where we start with season two. They just released this uh, first season of American Vandal. That they're, they yeah. said they released it on Vimeo. It was on like Netflix. Um, then they have Netflix pick them up for season two. And season two brings them to Washington State where there's this high school and the first, the reason why they're there is this woman, Chloe, sends them a, a message saying that someone put laxatives in all of, in the lemonade and they caused what they called the brownout, yeah. which was everyone had to go to the bathroom really bad and they couldn't make it to the, the toilets in time. So there is, yeah. you'll, you get it, you get the, you oh, get yeah. what the brownout is. Oh, so yeah. how do you guys like season two compared to season one? Like, what do you think they did differently that made it better or worse? Um, I personally thought that they added a whole twist to it. During the first season, it was kind of like who was the person who vandalized all the cars? Who was that one person? But um, they used like blackmailing and a lot of different um, people were involved in each situation. So like it just made it a lot more complicated and it made you think and it was it was a cool documentary to watch personally. There was also more than one crime. So it was like you weren't just following the one case, like it kept happening over like a few like weeks I guess. So it like added more to it. So what were the crimes again? It was the original brown and the one else was yeah. it? Yeah. Um the poop pinata. Uh the pep oh. rally with the like shirt the t-shirt gun? Yeah, yeah. yeah. t-shirt gun. Cannons. It yeah, had, yeah. like, poop in it. Oh, what was the last one? And I think the last one was in the teacher's lounge. Teacher's there was lounge. the advent calendar that yeah. had, yeah, instead the candy of candy, it, it had poop in it. Which it was, had, like, cat poop. It had yeah. a cat So the whole season was trying to figure out who perpetrated the, the brownout. And they had it, so they started off with, in the first episode, they had this kid, Kevin McLean, confess that he was, what are the, they called it the, was it the, the poop? Turd burglar. The turd burglar. Turd he was the turd burglar. burglar. Yeah. So th he confessed in the first episode, but the reason why the documentaries came in is because they believed, Chloe, the person who contacted them, believed it was a forced confession just so they can get the public off their neck. Yeah. So the reason why they come in is to kind of rid the, the claim that Kevin McLean was the turd burglar. Yeah. Um, how do you guys think that changed? Because we didn't find out in the first season who did it until the last episode. This this season, we found out who did it in the first episode. How do you guys think that like set it up for the, the rest of the, the season? Um, I, I personally think that it kind of just like, it was, it was off-putting. It was kind of weird when I first saw that, you know, someone actually confessed right away because it's like oh wait did he actually do it like he he just said he did um but then like i remember like throughout the documentary you watched how um 
like he showed how he proved all the pranks and they didn't it didn't seem realistic at all um they went through a bunch of different social medias uh throughout time they interviewed people multiple people probably hundreds of people um so i kind of think it was like a cool twist i wonder what they're gonna do for maybe another season because they did one side where they didn't know who it was at first and now there's a whole another side where someone confessed right away like how are they going to add like a switch up for this next season? Yeah, it was I, the way they did it was for people who haven't watched it. Um, it's, spoiler alert: stop watching if you want to watch the rest of American Vandal. <laughs> um, so the way they did it was it was Kevin McLean confessed, like we said, and then they tried to figure out who actually did it. No one believed except for the school system that Kevin did it, and they found out through like just a bunch of twists like for for like a good three episodes I thought it was the basketball player DeMarcus and then they switched Dang. it and I thought it was DeMarcus's best friend Lou and then they switched it because they kept finding new evidence to prove that yeah it wasn't them and then and at the end Billy tell me tell me spoiler it again tell us about the end like what mm -hmm. happened um so at the end well actually during the season there was um this one guy that they went to go interview, he worked at a tech center. Um, and it was because he got kicked out of school prior. Well, at the end, they, um, they saw that everybody was kind of getting tricked into getting blackmailed because they were talking to this girl. Um, and they were all vulnerable, those four who got pranked. So um, they ended up kind of like figuring out like, this girl whose phone it was originally was, she dropped it off at this tech center. When they went, they saw it was this kid, and they finally figured out like who it was. I think it was Grace. His name was Grayson Wentz. I Grayson think was his Wentz, name. I think yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. I thought it was cool that they showed him like in like episode two. And, you're like, and oh, I he had just got no idea. Like, you don't think of school. Of yeah, it. and it was crazy because they like the documentaries, the people who created this actual uh, TV show. They like kind of manipulate your mind thinking like, hey, it's them, hey, it's them. But they know, like, you know it's not them, but you mm -hmm. think it is at the time. So when they show like a person who it actually could be, you know, you're not really thinking about it. Yeah. All right. So we, we spoiled who was the turd burglar. <laughs> but yeah. in reality, it was the turd burglar kind of like puppeteering four other people to commit, commit those four crimes. It was the basketball player, DeMarcus. It was, Kevin did the original... Brown out, brown out, which yeah. was surprising at the end. Yeah. And then it was a teacher did the one in the teacher's lounge. And then the last one was uh, a girl who got uh, catfished as well. Mm -hmm. So now that we explained it, let's do a tradition on Triple Scoop. You're going to rate what you thought about the season out of five scoops. Billy, scoop it. I kind of want to go first season, second season. So for, for the it. first season, I'm honestly going to say like a 4.5 out of five scoops. I really loved the first season. Uh, the second season I also thought was really well. It was kind of gross at times. It was gross. Which is funny, but for me, like, that's kind of not my thing. So I'd give it like a four out of five scoops. All right. Yeah, I was going to give both four out of five. I liked how they incorporated differently. Also, I'm, I'm going to give them both... I'm going to give the first season a 4.5. Second season, I'm going to agree with Billy, 4. It was, yeah. it, the, fir the first season got me hooked by watching the trailer, and it was like, like yeah. making a murderer. I was like, oh, this is funny. So mm -hmm. I watched it. It was great. Second yeah. season, it li I'll say it lived up to the hype, but it could have been better. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Stick around. <laughs> we'll be right back. We're talking about movies that happened this summer. Stick around. We'll be right back. Stick around. <laughs>